Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a freestanding pergola for your you know, backyard, front yard, whatever it might be. I have the perfect spot in the corner of my backyard next to the basketball court where I wanna put a pergola and uh, it's gonna have concrete footings. So freestanding pergola with concrete footings in the ground. I'll show you how to uh, set those footings, uh, get the concrete ready, uh, you know, get the posts up and you know, the cross beams and all things like that and show you how to do the complete build from start to finish. They're actually redoing the house next to me and I think that they're uh, vaulting the ceiling so they're taking out a lot of load bearing beams and that house is from the 1960s. So I went and talked to the contractors and they told me I could take whatever I want out of the lumber pile in the back because they're just gonna throw it out. And that got me really excited. So I, get, I grabbed some nice pieces and this is wood uh, from the 1960s, which is nearly impossible to find now. So uh, I'm excited to incorporate that into the pergola and we'll see how it turns out. Let's go take a look at those free beams that I got and then we'll get started on measuring and digging some holes for the concrete footings. Let's get started. All right, so what I've done here is taken a construction line and measured out a 10 by 10 uh, square or perimeter for the pergola. And then that allows me to know exactly where I need to center the hole for the digging process and then setting the footings. Um, the concrete form tube needs to go at each corner and then that would be our uh, post bases. So uh, I'm gonna get starting, started with the digging process right now and uh, hopefully everything comes out equidistant. Okay, that was pretty brutal. I just dug four holes uh, about 10 feet apart, uh, make a square, uh, so check it out. And then I have some centering to do so I can get the concrete form tubes to be equidistant from each other. And then I can move on to setting the concrete and the post bases in the concrete. So uh, I got my weekend cut out for me, uh, but for now I'm gonna go take a break and we'll be back first thing in the morning. All right guys, it's day two. I'm out here first thing in the morning. I'm gonna get the concrete form tubes, which I have behind me right here. These are 48 inches long and you can cut them to size so that they fit in the holes that we have in the ground. We've got a stack of concrete here ready to go. So I just need to make sure that these are uh, cut to size and then leveled off. And then we can start the concrete footing process and get the post anchor bases into that concrete. So I'm gonna go get that started right now. Now, before we move on to pouring the concrete, we wanna make sure that we have these post anchor bases. These are what's gonna sit nicely into the concrete and hold the, the posts for the structure. And uh, I've learned a trick, which is if you take uh, the post anchor base before you put it in concrete and then uh, mark holes and drill the holes into the <coughs> uh, post before you set it in concrete, that's gonna make your life a lot easier uh, so you don't have to stand a post up and try to drill it while it's already in concrete because that's just kind of a pain. So I'll show you how to do that right now and then we'll get on to uh, pouring the concrete. So I'm going around now and leveling out the form tubes. I have them all in the ground and uh, I wish I had a laser level, but I don't. So doing an old school uh, 12 foot board method and uh, making sure that all of the form tubes under underneath here are, are level across the ground and uh, putting a board here and then checking to see if it's level. So that's the best method that I've come up with at this point, uh, hope it works. Here's a good example of why I think this method works pretty well. The back is a little bit higher than the front here, so I wanna make it totally level so that doesn't hinder our construction later on and you know have pieces that don't fit in the right way. Um, and uh, I've also put a two foot piece of rebar down the middle of each form tube. So that'll help grab the concrete really well when we go to uh, set it.
I got all four footings in the ground and the concrete perfectly leveled, hopefully. And uh, now I'm gonna take a break. I gotta let the concrete set for 72 hours before I can start putting weight on it. And uh, we'll be back to finish the build. All right, so I'm back out here. We got the concrete footing set. So now I'm gonna work on getting those four by six posts up and level and aligned. And then we can start piecing this thing together. Let's get started. I had to get a bit creative to get the top beam up and in place. Um, I've gotten everything level and then we're gonna go ahead and put in these lag bolts so that everything comes together nice and securely. Now for some polyurethane.
Oof. It is 102 degrees outside and uh, about 15 hours of work later, I have finally finished the pergola build. I'm really excited with how it came out. I spent extra time so I could put extra craftsmanship so that this piece could be a staple in the backyard for years to come and provide a lot of great shade and, and uh, a good seating area um, that can be used in the summer or really all seasons. You know, have a nice drink or a cigar outside, a cup of coffee. So let's go take a look at the final product.